Our cognitive function tends to slow between the ages of 60 and 80, and in fact recent research shows it may even slow from about the age of 45. Now of course there are differences between individuals in the extent and the rate of this decline, and a number of factors have been implicated such as unhealthy lifestyles and also vascular disease. This means that the effect may be modifiable, and this is where coffee comes in. There has been some interesting research to show that moderate coffee consumption may help to slow this cognitive decline. Astrid, could you talk us through this link between coffee consumption and the slowing of cognitive function as we get older? Yes, with pleasure, Sarah. The recent research over the last decade or so has indicated that regular coffee consumption over a lifetime is able to slow down age-related cognitive decline. In fact, coffee consumption is improving many cognitive functions like visual information, for example. And are there any differences between men and women in this effect? Yes, surprisingly. Several studies have reported improvements in cognitive function in women only, and especially in women older than 80 years. There is only one single study performed on European men that reported improvements in men. And at this point, we don't know why there are these gender differences and more research is needed to understand this point. And do we know what it is in coffee that's having this effect? Clearly, caffeine is having the main effect. Uh, recent research is pointing to other components like the chlorogenic acids that are antioxidants that protect our cells, that could also contribute, but more research is needed in that respect. Also, there's been some really fascinating research linking regular coffee consumption with reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease. Could you talk us through some of that research? That research has reported that the consumption of three to four cups of coffee a day, over a lifetime again, is reducing the risk of Alzheimer's disease by 20 to 25 percent. However, at this point, the evidence is not too strong. The studies are heterogeneous and don't include many patients. So we need many more research studies and follow-up of patients over uh, the development of the disease. And do we know what it is in coffee that's having this effect of reducing Alzheimer's risk? Like for cognitive decline, at this point, it appears that caffeine is the main player. As a practicing dietitian, I'm really interested in what advice I can give to my patients and my clients about their coffee consumption. What practical advice can you give me? In fact, there is a large consensus coming from the literature telling that most people can enjoy drinking every day three to four cups of coffee with no harmful effect on health. And you never know from what we just talked about on cognitive decline and Alzheimer's disease. It may even help you age better. Well, thank you, Astrid, for that really fascinating insight on the effect of coffee consumption and Alzheimer's disease and cognitive function. It really has been so interesting talking to you. Mm -hmm.